Hello everybody, I have been promising that I would do a black candle manipulation spell. So to show you how to do a black candle manipulation spell. So here's an easy one that's easy to do and let's dive right into that. And also too, I can actually do them for you. So let's dive right in. Let me put my glasses on so I can show you. But how I do a black candle manipulation spell, I always have a black candle. Okay, and I'll be reflecting back to my notes because I like to stay on point. So here's a black candle. This is what I use to manip do a black candle manipulation spell. And when you're doing a black a manipulation spell, how to influence someone to comply with you or to, something that you want from them. Maybe it's love, maybe it's peace, maybe it's balance, maybe it's love, maybe it's money. It could be influencing something your way, your boss, uh, anything relationships but that's a whole nother topic but here's a black candle you want to be able to use okay first a black candle this candle will burn for about um about three to four days um i like to do my candles at night i only do them at night um when i'm doing magic i only do them at night after about 2 a.m that's the best time why because things are quiet it's settled down you can um and you have a better influence you more focus and everything is settled okay so this is the black candle so you what you want to do is you gotta have a um, when you do a manipulation spell influence spell you gotta have some dna so let me just give you an example this is a cloth this is actually i'll get you who it is this is actually my husband's cloth that he uses why why would i have his cloth dna also, too, this is another item. This is something that my husband loves. It's a product that he actually makes, uh, and his DNA is in. He goes in and scoop. So this is that. You got to have some DNA. <laughs> so this is, I'll use this as an example. This is his DNA. This is his cloth, and this is a candle. So what I will do is light the candle, but let me show you what I do. Um, I have... I always like to use my candle. I have some do as I say. I pour that in the candle. I also like to use red. Why? These are sparkles. Um, I use red because it gives a lot of potency, okay, to a spell. This is just general. Then what I do is I light the candle. So let me just give an example. So I will light the candle. Always make sure your wick is in the middle. So I will light the candle. Okay, always take the object in your left hand. It's in your left hand. Why? Because your left hand is connected to your heart. Never put it in your right hand. If it's an object that you're using for influence, always have it in your left hand. Okay, so you want to put your intentions into the flame. So what you want to do is whatever your intentions are. For example, I want for my husband to, let's say, um, pay an extra bill let's say that pay an extra bill for me or buy me something special okay and he does that when i do this he'll do extra stuff so let's say i want him to buy me an extra object that i love like a watch okay so what i'll do is i will put my intentions into this flame and i will put my hands around it i've already got this so i'll make sure it's around it going into the flame the dna then i'm gonna put my hands around this okay and I'm gonna set my intentions and I'll speak into it I'll make sure that I put a positive circle around it whenever you go forward is a positive circle so I'm putting a positive circle to to secure this um, candle so there's no outside influences I also use when I do spell work I use deities as well so if you're unfamiliar with deities let me know comment below and I'll tell you a couple of deities to use or if you don't have an altar already used so in this case um I may we use uh, Goddess Lakshmi as helping me to influence my husband <laughs> so I'm just using him as an example I will ask Goddess Lakshmi Thank you and invoke this candle to assist me with my intentions, okay? So what I'll do is, again, put my hand over. You see that flame? You see it? It 
it's standing erect because I have set my energy into it. If that flame is going straight up, it is talking with me. Okay, I'm just showing you a short one. So then imagine that energy from you into that candle. And you want to set your intentions, okay? And you want to imagine what you want to be complied your way. And you want to imagine when you're doing this, how you're going to feel about it after you get it. You want to talk to the candle, okay? Then the, the once you're doing that, the candle is charged. Then you want to always, after you have charged this candle with your intentions, you want to let it sit. I prefer me I prefer to cook the spirituals. I always let my candle burn out on their own. Make sure that you have it in a safe place. And I like my candles to burn on their own. I never shut my candles off. Never. Because my candle will talk. Every day I come back to that candle and I look at it. And I thank, I thank the divine and the energies for my intentions being set. And everything going my way, and I seal it, and I say, I'm going to be, I'm going to be seven times, because I'm sealing it. And every day, I come back to that candle till it's burned. You will hear your candle talking, too. It will talk, it will pop, it will do different things, because it's talking to the divines and to the person that you want to influence, okay? And what's going to happen is going to go into their mind and into their brain and go down into them. Do it at night while they're asleep. Yes, the only time you want to do an influence spell. So let me know your thoughts. If you'd like me to do one for you, comment below, email me below, and I can do that. There is a fee, of course, but let me know. I also, too, will have to do a diagnostic reading, a short one, to find out why the influence, to make sure it's going to make sense and that it will set. Because some, again, diagnostic reading help me to understand why you're doing something. Because if you're doing it, and you don't have a certain connect with the person, if the universe will decline your influence. It will work, but it may it will work in whatever the universe sets it. But that's why it has to be sequential. Okay? So let me know your thoughts. Comment down below. I hope you love this quick um black candle manipulation spell. It's easy peasy lemon squeezy. <laughs> Well, I love you for watching today. Comment below if you would like some work done in this diagnostic reading and spell work done. Let me know. I'll catch you later. See you soon. Bye.